Okay guys, uh, here we are at our water heater again. Uh, last thing we did was install this disconnect. And uh, when I did that, I talked about uh, working on the on this messy pipe work in between here. And now I'm going to do it. Oh, this is what was here. Ready to go. Put this back together just for example. There we go. Put yeah, that on there. You know. And uh, so this is somebody stealing hot water. So that's going to be capped over there. Um, and we had no no hot water side isolation valve. And uh, as you'll notice, that is a copper female adapter threaded right onto the galvanized nipple. And what happens when, when we do that, kids? That's right, galvanic corrosion or electrolysis or whatever you want to call it. Two dissimilar metals being together, not good. No bueno. I can't really see it with the camera, but uh, it's, it's funky inside there. Uh, that ain't right. So I picked up a couple of dielectric unions, which is what should be on there in the first place. I don't know. I mean, got unions on there, but nope. Anyway, so we got our inch and a quarter valve up there. Uh, it's our cold water right coming in, isolation valve. As you can see, we brought it in an inch and a quarter, and just reduced it down to three quarter. Uh, and there, oh, there's two reasons I uh, didn't just put a three quarter valve on there. And uh, one of them being is I had an extra inch and a quarter that I didn't use for something else. And rather than return it, I'd rather just use it for something. And uh, secondly, we're in the mechanical room here. And that is the, you never know what's going to happen in the future. And we may want a large, uh, a large water supply. We may need, uh, uh, who knows what we'll put in here one day. Uh, but that just leaves our options open. Uh, we, that way, you know, during the day, we uh, don't need to worry about doing anything but shutting that valve off. We don't have to shut off the building, and we can uh, tap into a full inch and a quarter line should we need uh, should we need it for something. I don't know. Who knows? And so, and then we've got this three quarter over here that's just isolating our hot water side. So we'll, just for the purpose of working on it today, mostly, but uh, anyhow. So that's all good. Uh, so I'm going to unthread this guy off of here and put our two unions on there. Dry everything up a little bit. Uh, you'll notice our disconnect is off, of course. And uh, solder uh, that there. And uh, basically we're just going to go with a couple of, uh, couple of MIPs. Oops, look at that. Drip some solder on there. That's no good. Hopefully it'll peel off. This wasn't the part that was hot, so it shouldn't be a problem. But anyways, we're just gonna put some MIPs and flex on there. And uh, in between there, we're going to tee off and do, uh, I'm gonna put myself a little hot water hose bib. This kind of cool little ball valve hose bib, I like it. I'm gonna put a T on the hot water side and bring this somewhere, pipe, pipe it somewhere over to here, so I can uh, get some easy access to hot water if I need it which uh, sometimes they do. Uh, recharging the system, maybe the tank of Freon is about gone and you want to get that last little bit out. Heat the tank. Transferring tank to tank, whatever. Anyways, hot water is a nice thing we have. So I'm going to put myself a little tap in there. And uh, so I'll get these uh, dielectrics on there and uh, maybe we'll get some, some soldering action in between. Who knows? Okay guys, we're all done. Uh, sorry I didn't get any action in there. Uh, thought I was going to, but it really wasn't a great place to set the camera or anything. I just, they just e emailed me my hat camera today. We're going to start using that, I promise. They sent me an email saying it got shipped, so I'll, I should have that for the next video and that should be fun. Uh, anyways, so we got our inch and a quarter uh, cold water shut off up there. That's an install. Got a little sloppy with the bottom joint, but that's okay. It's sealed. Uh, it's a little too much solder. And uh, we got our cold water flex. Moving down to a dielectric union on both sides. Hot water flex. Isolation valve. 
And then I teed myself off a little hot water hose bib here. Put a union on it right there so you take the heater out if you need to. And there you go. Nice and pretty. I got this uh, dishwasher hose. I uh, use the fill buckets. Thread it on there and then I can set the bucket on the floor. Fill her up. Yeah, so disconnect back on. And uh, that about does it. Um, I don't know what it is with fittings nowadays, threaded fittings especially, but they're just a pain in the ass, apparently. Uh, did what I thought was a good enough job the first time, uh, with just Teflon tape, it leaked like a sieve, couldn't get it any tighter, so I took everything back apart, set it, put it in the vise, and gooped it up with pipe dope, and, uh, and Teflon tape, and that finally got it sealed. <sighs> pain in the ass. There's no quality anymore, but uh, I like this. I like this hose bib. It's nice and chromey and shiny and uh, ball valve. I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, so I uh, not looks pretty good. Couple couple joints that make me wish they look nicer, but yeah, it's all sealed. It's all there. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.